Welcome to Uncharted Waters Online, uh, a game that came out October 7th, 2010, almost 10 years ago, and is still very, very popular at the moment. So, all I've done so far is I've installed the game, I've updated the game, and I've created an account at Papaya website. The link will be down in the description. So I'm about to create a new character. First up, you get to choose your country, your nationality. As a new player, you're probably going to get a little bit confused as to what nation you want. You can kind of see a little bit of a description below each one. Um, I'm going to be honest. Any of them will do. Because as you progress in the game, you can defect to another nation. So as a brand new player... I wouldn't worry too much about it, because um, quite simply, they're probably all as good as each other when you're starting out. Um, it's more when you advance in certain areas that maybe some of the differences will show up, like... Just for argument's sake, casting, if you're going to get the casting skill, I know you're not going to know what the advantages of that skill is, but certain nations, shall we say, are better equipped. <clears throat> so, obviously I know my stuff. Um... At the moment, I'm not too worried about what nation, so I'm just going to choose England, because quite simply that's my home nation. So then you get to choose your character, so you can have a big fat one, a slimmy little sh sort of short girl, tallish girl, male... So, so, yeah, you got kind of different kind of builds. So, let's just go with him. You can change your face, hairstyle. Um, yeah, let's go with that one. Your complexion. So you can make them a little bit darker. So you can kind of see various levels. I think I'm going to just go with that. And hair colour is exactly the same. And then you've got other, which just kind of adds facial kind of stuff. So... We're into the jobs. Again, I mean, it's up to you which way you go. At the end of the day, you are going to experience all of them. Because as you progress in the game, you're going to need X amount of adventure, X amount of trade, X amount of uh, military stuff. So, keeping that in mind, personally, and this is again my personal choice, I would go trade learner because I think that would be a bit easier as a new player. I mean, at the end of the day, you can do the other jobs, so it's, again, it's not... You know, it's just like at the start. In all honesty, it does not matter where you choose too much. 
some, yes, will have advantages. Some might not have so much of the advantages. You know, it, it, it's purely a choice. So, it is up to you guys what you choose. I do believe Trade Learner would be the better choice. So we select a Trade Learner. This is where you can uh, dress your, your character. Should you choose to rip the options, which are, you know, fairly basic stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to lie. They're not super duper stuff. So just kind of prepared for, you know, not expecting much in the wardrobe department. So I will choose to clothe my character. You will find that you'll probably will dump these items at some point in the game. So, you know, don't don't worry too much. So we've got a name, our tune. Now we're not allowed spaces. And we are not allowed, and I'll repeat, not allowed, things like... GM in the square brackets or CA. Those are reserved, so don't do it. So what we're going to do is YouTube Instructor. I think it'll probably allow me. I'm not sure. We'll give it a go. Yay! So obviously I've underscored between YouTube and Instructor as you saw. So now we get to start the game. Okay, so we're in London's Merchant Guild. And we are told in a nice blue box to talk to the Merchant Guild Master. So we're told that we can click and select and all that so merchant gm so he basically says basically welcome to the game i have a little something from his guild for me again that will get me started so i get 50k in cash I get a dagger you got to have your daggers we obtain a bit of sail paint and Carlson Bell's rich incidentally help with homesickness so it's like a disaster -y kind of repair thing and first time sailing we better take a North Sea port permit. So port permits again are something that are is important to the game. If you do not have a valid port permit, you cannot visit towns in that zone. But as a new player, you will always get the port permit around where you start. So you know, don't don't worry too much and with them starting permits obviously ports the amount of ports unlocked in that zone will slightly vary. But don't worry. Honestly, don't panic. So we got the permit. And as I've explained, you know, he's marked, he's, he's actually marked to towns that we can enter on the map. I will show you that map as soon as we've um, done this. OK. 
Okay, so it's now telling us to check a journal and the charts, which is where I was going to take us. So, journal charts. So, as we can see, London, which has a land route to Oxford. And if we hover around, we can see that we've got Manchester, we've got Plymouth, Portsmouth, Dover, Bordeaux, Nantes, and a few other ports, Amsterdam, Hamburg even as far as that, and Oslo. So it's a fair amount of area where you can actually go first. Obviously you are going to be in a slow boat. So I'm going to save myself a bit of time. You would think that would be it and go to the door. But there's actually a bit more before you can leave. So this is where we talk about the Voyager. So we're basically it's saying find requests. Uh, I mean I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes with these messages you do want to. Just spam click them away. I'm going to be honest with you. Yes. I agree with you guys. But it is important to actually read everything. Especially before you leave your first port. So please, please read. You know, whether you do it from my video or whether you do it from in-game, you know. But you have to, have to do it. So if you're not sure how many times you've clicked him, you can just click him again and he'll bring up this menu. So you can acquire skill. Obviously... You get mi minimal requirements. Unfortunately, as a new player, you won't get any more um, skills available. But as you chip away at the game and you work your levels, you work your skills, you will actually get there naturally so no real need to feel pressured it's not a race it's not one of them games that whoever finishes first is a winner and whoever comes last is a loser it's nothing like that a lot of the players on in the game have started at various points of the 10 years and even some of them are, have not really got the game to the end because they're adding new stuff every single time so <clears throat> like I say it's not a race you have just got to chip away at it and just enjoy the game. Just enjoy the game as much as you can, really. So we're going to go to the exit. We will get some more of this pop-up. And you, you will get a lot of pop-up stuff when you first start out. It will become annoying. But it is important that you do read it. So we've got a beginner's guide. And so. 
Yeah, specific actions for the first time in game that are helpful to beginners. You can set out to turn on or off a replay of lectures. Yeah, we get that. And you can always check the lecture however many times through the sailor's guide in the records. So if you do get do get stuck, you could always have a look in there. And then it talks about world chat. And then the experienced sailor turns up. This sailor will accompany you through the game in terms of providing a bit of information and during some of the quests or storylines or what have you. So he's saying let's check out the facilities in the city. Talk to the... Now this is the important part. Let's first talk to the people at the shipyard, who from this point on you will be visiting quite regular or frequently. Okay, so we'll go out and then we'll get a bit more about the town map and facilities. So by clicking down here, it'll bring up an enlarged map up here. Okay. <coughs> so you... So you want to go to the market keeper. This is a little trick I learnt anyway. So it explains about the rare trade goods. You can ask them questions. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go no questions. And then I'm going to go to the shipyard. So we need to speak to the shipyard master and he tells us all about the shipyards. So you're studying sails, your cannons, extra armour, special equipment and repair the ship. So there's a little bit of information there about everything to do with your ship. So you see which um, NPC does what as well. So again, you can read this in your own time once you are in game and then our experienced sailor friend pops up again kind of refreshes what you've already been told Okay, so then he tells us to go to the market keeper. So we'll click on the market keeper. Speciality goods. Definitely important.
So again, the foundation of trading is to purchase trade goods where the purchase price is lower and sell it where you're getting it higher. So it's basically a bit like eBay. If you're a serious buyer seller, you'll perhaps look out for the bargains and then you'll relist it for a little bit more. Similar kind of uh, epic, I guess. So then it's telling us about the amber feathers and stuff that are specialities in Europe, Northern Europe, and then says might be a good idea to go to Africa or the Caribbean rhythm. So it gives you some clues of your speciality goods of rare to buy, rare to sell. Again, you can always make up your own little trade routes as there are some decent ones available. And you'll learn where the better deals are and where they're not. And then it gives us a little in-game tip about selling speciality goods to 50 or so at the same time. So when you're selling the two together, you'll get more trade XP as well as trade fame, which is another thing to do with your port permits. But I will leave a link down below about that as that's something I want to cover a bit more in depth in another video because it's going to kind of take you a while to even get to that stage. And then our experienced sailor friend goes, looks like we're getting able to get some valuable information regarding becoming a merchant. Let's keep that information and make load of ducats. Ducats being our in-game uh, currency. So he's suggesting we'll take a walk around the city and then go to talk at River Guild and accept a crest. So we'll take a little short walk to the Guild, which is literally just round this corner. And so we're going to accept our first crest, but first we do have this pop-up again. So as you can read that, uh, it's kind of trying to get you to balance your earnings and a few skills. So we got accounts, we got escape and storage. Escape enables you to go a little bit faster when and if you're in a battle. Again, that is something that I'll real cover as and when we get there. Okay, so 
we are going to talk to the mediator. And so we get another pop-up about crests. So we're able to take all sorts of crests. Obviously they are divided into the different guilds. So your battle crest will be with the battle guild. Adventure with your adventure guild. Trade with your trade guild. And again it kind of says about what I just said really <laughs> so we can confirm some details by clicking the crest and for some of the crests we can use the crest hint button to confirm the next step you don't always get that but you know trust me on some of them it does help And then it says about cultural contributions and taking two crests at a time. But to be fair, you probably won't get be doing that for a little while. So then our experienced sailor friend kind of just refreshes us. And so we're ready. So we're going to take a crest. And entertaining the town's know-it-all. Mm, okay. First task from the guild. This is the one that you really, really want to try and get. Sometimes you might have to do a couple of the other crests before this one pops up. So let's do the first task from the guild. So this is a great job if you are just starting out. So we need 10 barrels of beer to Dover, a town along the south of London. The request comes from the barkeep in the tavern in Dover. You can buy the wine. Now remember, it's beer, not wine. You can buy the beer at the market in London. Then make the delivery. Come back and see me once you've finished. So I'm just going to quickly screenshot this, because then I can um, make an in-game uh, a support ticket, sorry, bug thing. Because I didn't actually notice that before, if I'm honest. So hopefully we can get that corrected. If you are ever in doubt check your crest which is in your journal and then check your progress and the lab of white uh what you need to like deliver so we need 10 beers that sounds fairly easy so we will go to the market keeper see how many beers we can get now just remember let, let's deal with this pop-up first so you just come out of london looks like a decent person so i'll give you a chance i've got a lot to talk about before i ask you to take on your first job Okay, <clears throat> so again, it comes up with a little pop-up, 
again I will let you read those on your own trust me there is good information there though so you will want to read it and again we get another pop-up account skill so by learning the account skill you will be able to see nearby town market rates of trade goods with nearby town market rates <clears throat> you'll be able to see the comparison between the current price and the standard price And you will also have a haggle button. So yeah, it's talking about your haggle button. And then hopefully we can now buy our 10 beer. So down here we've got our cargo hold. We've already got 24 of something, which I believe is your food and water, out of 57. Now you will grow as your character grows, you'll be able to get the bigger ships so we need 10 beers so we'll buy it as a specified amount but do not just carry the 10 you need carry a couple spare because trust me your crew will steal anything anything that is in your hold cargo hold they will steal so then i clicked on our port guy which teleports us across to a port official again we're leaving our the port um Again, it kind of touches on the port permit. And it tells you, again, that you can't enter towns that you haven't got permits for. Again, all the relevant information is available depending on how you respond. Just to help to get the video along a bit I will just pass over that so we'll head to port again got a few buttons for different things but we'll just go to port so if there's anything else before we set sail again we're good Again, you can always ask a questions. And the port official just has no faith in us. He wants to give us some life-saving equipment. Which, again, is useful. Do not get me wrong on that. And with that said, we have a safe journey. So there's the status of a ship. Um, again, we are in a slow boat, so don't expect, don't expect it to be speedy. I will speed this up in the video though. So how to travel on sea? So it basically is saying if we click a button down there. And to change the uh, ship direction, we just click there. So, and to enter a city, we click on the city. Auto sailing will be equipped. 
So basically what it's saying is, as I zoom out, re-click over here, re-steer towards that point, and if we click over here, again, re will turn. Now you got to keep in mind, yes, the turning is slow. It, it will be slow in your beginner ship. So just keep that in mind at your turn speed. I mean, as a ship <coughs> modding thing, turning speed is actually an upgrade to your ship. So you can get faster turning speed, but you have to mod your ship. But again, that comes later in the game. So you don't really want to be doing mods at all or be even thinking about modding your ships. Not on these beginner ships. <clears throat> So again, just keep keep that in mind. So we're just going to go down to Dover. As you can see, there's London. And here's Dover. Again, you'll have various different missions, depending on what nation you choose. And it depends, because beer's... I am not available in France or Amsterdam, so it would be some other trade good. So we'll come around and we'll head into Dover like this. So as we click on the town we can see it's Dover and we can click on that. Now we'll go into the harbour because quite simply we have the port permit and we actually level up our adventure. So as you can see now, we got some points now being achieved. So we need to look out for the barkeeper. So we'll just have a little nosy around. And there we go, we'll go into the tavern. <clears throat> have a look. Oh, there he is, behind the bar. And we will deliver his ten beers. Crest is complete. We can confirm that as well, by, with that and how many beers are delivered. We'll take and uh, go back to the port guy. Go to port. Reset sail. We're all right on food and water. And we'll get going again after this little information bit again. So sea battle. So it's basically explaining what options you've got. We can exit the border to retreat. Um, we can restock a cannon munitions at the port. And of course, if you choose to, you can, uh, you know, obviously defend yourself. I personally would not recommend it just quite yet. Not until you've got a little bit more in-game knowledge. I would just head straight for the border, if I'm honest. And try and escape. But. Equally, even if you sink and fail, 
you can use the item Lifesaver. So as long as you've stocked up in Lifesavers, in some ways, you can give it a go on your first day, but I honestly would not recommend it. So we're heading back to um, London. Um, so we've got Escape. We've also got the little map down here as well. <clears throat> I I recommend you having some sort of a world map open, whether it's on your laptop, computer, tablet, book, you know, some sort of map of a world that you can perhaps get a feel of where some of the places are. There is um, something called GBO Navi, which is useful. And you can uh, have a look at that in a future video. I have briefly covered it in Sea Chart in Made Easy video. So if you did want to have a little look at that, you're more than welcome to. So we reach London. So we go to the harbour again. We actually discover London. Um, officially now. And you'll get a feel again for where places are. Like a royal palace, etc. We're interested in the Merchant Guild. Obvious reasons. Um, again, with Cress, you got two choices. You can either return to the place where you took it, or if it's a different city, you, you can uh, take it to the barkeep's assistant, who will organise another ship to return it. So, we're nearby London anyway, so we don't need to do that. And then we speak to the mediator again, and we get a level, and we also get a mission complete thing, and we also get a merchant's guild card. So, it says you may receive a reward from the challenge mission under records and as you can see it's highlighted blue so complete a quest from the guild we get a crest mediation permit we'll definitely take out what the crest mediation permits do and again i don't recommend using them too much at a moment but I will in this video, but basically if you're not liking the crests on offer, just hit a refresh. So money collection in Amsterdam, yeah that's pretty nearby. So we'll take up. And we've just accepted a Quano Crest, which is like a time period um, thing. Again, you got all the information in the pop-up window. And it asks you if you're sure. Obviously, you know, you can read them. 
And if you're not sure, you can always double check them. So Crest Remediator, not so fast. That paper I gave you earlier proves that you are a merchant. It is your merchant registration with the guild. You can take this to the guild master and change job. Okay. So it's now saying that we're close to completing um, mission, obtain five permits. And now we're getting information about the rumoured training school. Again, you will definitely want to read this. So it's telling you where it is. So digress. And it'll help, obviously, to grow our characters more quickly. Again, I do repeat, it is not a race, but it will help. So again, you can read all this. And you'll also notice that we've received some more permits. North Atlantic, West Mediterranean, and the East Mediterranean Sea. So we basically unlocked pretty much the European kind of map area so if we look at our journal and charts so we basically opened up all that all this down here including this little island there and all this as well and there's obviously the Venice towns up there. Um, some of the other ports around here. Obviously Parma as well. And obviously a few other places up there. So... Now having them port permits, you've actually opened up a lot more. There is another way to get in port permits, and that's requiring fame. The kind of more local European port permits are fairly easy to get. But they're fairly hard at the same time. So I do actually recommend you starting off talking to the shipyard. Sorry, talking to the market keeper. Then to the shipyard. Back to the market keeper. And then by that time you should take your first quest for the guild. And that should, in theory get you on the right tracks so I definitely recommend going to Segress to do your school stuff there are schools in London but they are actually closed and that would be the same for your all your starting cities Segress is now the new place for for school so you will need that and just for your information Segress is actually right next door to Lisbon the Portuguese capital so 
it might actually be worth you maybe considering starting as a Portuguese as a new player but again I will leave it to you so that's it for today's little kind of get you started tutorial and I hope that it helps okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and also check out some of my other videos as well thanks for watching bye bye